Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Peppo, your friendly longsword speedrunner. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out before continuing this video. In the previous chapter we talked about special sheet, so in this video we are gonna talk in depth about the eye slash and everything related to it. Monster Hunter World Iceborne introduces a new attack. This new attack is called Yai Slash and it's a parry. However, due to the existence of Spirit Yai Slash, you will never or almost use it as a parry. In fact, it is commonly used as a combo extender in order to deal extra damage in specific situations. Don't forget, you can only use this attack after a special sheet, and this is the biggest limitation. So, what's so special about this Yai Slash? Why do I have to use it? What are the advantages? So, as you can see in this clip, you can add extra damage to your combo, combining it with special sheet and then guy slash. So I made two different clips of comparison between using and not using guy slash after Helmbreaker to get red gauge. As you can see, the difference is 30 frames with empty bar and 20 frames with full bar. Of course, you have to consider that there is an inaccuracy in pressing the buttons frame perfect, but roughly it should be something around that number. It's important to say that with the eye slash you actually deal more damage, and that damage you deal with the eye slash you will never be able to gain it again in those frames you lose. In this other clip you can see the difference in frames between using and not using the eye slash after a round slash in order to get an helm breaker as fast as possible. The difference is almost zero, so that means that you are dealing extra damage in the same amount of time or in the same amount of frames if you eye slash. I'm sure you already know that if you land a hit of the Yai Slash, you'll get the refilling bonus of your Spirit Gauge. This bonus lasts only 15 seconds if you use the Yai Slash as a normal attack, but if you use Yai Slash as a parry, this bonus will last double the time, so 30 seconds. The speed, however, will not change. This bonus is actually pretty useful because in your normal combo you can stick spirit attacks so at the end of the day you will deal more damage. Yeah, and of course, this attack is also good because it has Mind's Eye integrated and this means that your attack won't be able to be deflected. So, if that's the case, this means I have to use Yai Slash whenever I can? Well, in theory the answer is yes, but practically it's no. There is a price you have to pay. This price is called positioning. It's something you have to consider. It's really important if you want to improve your gameplay, your style. To understand better the concept of positioning, let's see two examples, one good and one bad positioning. In this clip I was trying to headlock Kushaladora with a Helmbreaker. The first Helmbreaker was perfect, in fact I got 7 hits on the head. Then as Teostra fell down I started building my red gauge, but when I did the round slash, as you can see, I chose a bad direction and 
this combined with my choice of doing special sheet plus the eye slash cost me a perfect helm breaker on the head. This is a positioning mistake. Let's see what I should have done in that situation with this clip. So as soon as Kushaladora fell down again I started building my red gauge and you see that this time also the round slash direction is not great. In fact I decided to not using special sheet plus yai slash. So I decided to fully finish the animation of the round slash in order to get a better position during this animation. So I faced the correct direction, I unsheathed my longsword and I got the helmbreaker perfectly on the head. But what I really should have done was a good positioning as soon as Kushadora fell down. In this clip you can clearly see that I positioned myself really good from the beginning of the fall of Kushala. Staying between the legs and the head is the perfect position for the headlock of Kushadora in this example. So I finished my Spirit Blade 3, I did the round slash on the head and then I immediately used Special Sheet plus Yai Slash for extra damage and I was ready for the Helm Breaker. This clip can show you the value of positioning. You can deal more damage and you can be accurate as well. The Eye Slash plays an important role at the beginning of a quest. Let's consider, for example, Zinogre. I think a clip can teach you guys better than 1000 words. If I hadn't used the Eye Slash in this situation, I wouldn't have been able to build up my Spirit Coach in such short period of time. Of course this is something advanced because it requires a lot of practice in order to time correctly the Yai Slash. It's something really not easy, but once you master this, you'll be able to level up the Spirit Gauge faster. To clarify the value of Yai Slash at the beginning of a quest, let's consider the example on Acidic Glavenus. We basically use Yai Slash to get the refilling bonus during the hunt. Since the smallest amount of spirit coach required to trigger a successful foresight slash is 10% of the entire spirit coach, we can easily get the required portion of spirit coach from the refilling bonus in less than 2 seconds. It's important to highlight the fact that Yai Slash has an hyper armor of 2 seconds if you time it correctly. And as you can see in this clip, I was doing the Yai Slash on the charging attack of Tigrex and I didn't get knocked off because I had this hyper armor. And if you wonder if critical draw is a required skill, the answer is no, it's not. Critical draw just increases your affinity, but if you already have 100% affinity with weakness exploit, what's the point of using it? But Peppo, what about punishing draw? It seems so freaking useful. Well, Mm, punishing draw, I wouldn't say it's useful, I would say it's funny. So if you don't want to speedrun, of course, uh, you can use it, it's funny and you can get openings from the stun. So it's not useless at all. 
In speedruns you don't use this ability because it requires two pieces of Bariot armor, but if it were a decoration like Bow Charge Plus, I'm almost sure speedrunners would have used it. And finally, the video is finishing. Thank you everybody for your support. I really want to bring other videos like this, but honestly you have to know that this is not my job and for me it's really difficult to bring some content like this. It's a lot of editing and stuff and I'm a, just a speedrunner, not an editor. So please give me more support and I will try my best. Thank you!